Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me again today. I want to talk to you about hope, living hope. In fact, I want to talk to you about a hope that never ends. It was in 2009 um, that I was having a, a problem and I went into the hospital on a Friday night and uh, it was about 10, 15 p.m. It's really not the best time to go into the hospital to get help, but I, I knew I needed to check out what was wrong. And while I was there, uh, obviously it, what I thought it was, which I thought I'd eaten something that was bothering me, wasn't the problem. And so I ended up staying the whole weekend and uh, had every kind of test you can imagine. By Monday morning, I had two doctors standing at the foot of my bed in the hospital saying, uh, we came to tell you that you have cancer. And um, I have to tell you, for many people that I have ministered to, when they hear the, the C word, cancer, they uh, really get upset and anxious and concerned about what's going to happen next. I had kind of a weird response, actually. My response was, great. <laughs> and they, the two doctors looked at each other and they said, We've never heard that before. And, I, and uh, they, one of the doctors asked me, he said, why did you say great? Most people get really upset. And I said, well, now I know what it is, and um, I just want you to remove it. And they said, you don't want to know about any other options? I said, absolutely not. I just want to remove it. And um, so uh, within about two weeks, the cancer that was in my body was removed surgically and it's a it's an amazing thing for me it doesn't always happen to those of us who get cancer but uh, I've been clear and clean from cancer now for five years and uh, I have to say I'm very grateful to the doctor but most importantly I'm grateful to God the reason I think I got cancer was uh, probably to prove or test my faith but also as a ministry to others, I wanted to say to them, stop worrying about life. Stop clinging on to this life as this is our ultimate aim. You know, our ultimate aim is someday to, to stand in the presence of God and to be in heaven forever. So uh, if God were to choose to take me out of this life, I can't lose. And while I'm here, I can't lose because he's with me. I want to talk to you about hope and why I had hope and why I have encouragement no matter what's going on. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it's a tree of life. That's in Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12. When the doctor told me that, um, uh, that I had the cancer, I, I, uh, I thought, well, this is probably my way to check out. This is probably the end of my life coming soon, and now I know how. I'm going to be leaving this life. That's not actually what God's plan was, obviously, but if you've ever had a diagnosis like that, um, it's wise to listen to the doctor's words of wisdom. Whatever he tells you is the best course of treatment, I would encourage you to take that. But without hope, even though you have medical treatment, your days get pretty dark. And um, I have to tell you that God did a work in me. He just shined his light into my life and gave me encouragement and gave me hope no matter what was going on around me. That was not me. That was all him. Without hope, the truth is you can know the joy of Jesus Christ no matter what obstacles you ever face in life. And I am today sharing with you what God did for me to encourage you to trust him more. No matter what comes into your life, put your trust in him. And another thing, I wasn't upset and anxious. I had peace. Friend, I would not trade the peace of God for anything that exists in this world today. Not anything. I am blessed and thankful for the peace of God. Somebody had written, In Christ we have a love that cannot be fathomed, a joy that cannot be diminished, and a hope that can never be disappointed. You see, the hope we have in Christ is certainty. Certainty that God is with us, certainty that he'll fulfill all of his promises, certainty that he'll always go with us through whatever we have to go through in this life. So you never go through it alone when you're a believer in Jesus Christ. 
Instead of a hopeless end, we who are Christians have endless hope. So come check it out. Come visit our church and uh, let me know that you've been watching the videos. And I would really love to meet you and to encourage you and uh, just uh, pray for you. So why don't you come?